everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls, and this is our All 12 Signs video for the week beginning September 13th, 2021. I do put a week on there, but it really is timeless. So you just watch it whenever you like. You can watch for your sun, moon, and rising, or Venus signs, whatever works for you. Now, as far as this content format for my channel, this is still an experimental Thing, okay <laughs> so I am watching to see if my audience is responding to it if people like the content if this is serving you if you feel like you're getting something out of it if you are please make sure that you are liking sharing and subscribing leaving your comments and if you are subscribed please make sure that you have hit the notification bell I've been hearing from a lot of people that the videos are not coming up in um, you know their subscription recommendations or whatever so hit that notification bell, that will help out a ton. If you would like to get a personal reading with me, just go to my website at angelsouls444.com and do not forget to check out the Archangel Meditation Challenges. Those are over at gumroad.com slash angelsouls. I just got Archangel Razio up, all our transformation, alchemy, and getting through these tough times. Okay, so let's get into the signs. Hello Aries, let's see what is going on for you. Oh, 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 there's one. <laughs> it's popping right out. We have Guardian Angel. We'll talk about that. I think um, for this week, just for all the signs, I'll pull three cards. If I feel like I need to pull more, I will. But that, that should be enough to tell a story. Good. Okay. Compassion. And peace. And I also feel the word forgiveness coming through here so let's just gonna look down that's a youtube no no but listen i'm a card reader what you want okay i gotta look down at the cards <laughs> guardian angel compassion peace this is a shift this is wanting to just turn away from everything that drains you and this really does go in make sure you watch the weekly and the dailies too okay this all goes together these are all pieces to that message but this is really making that spirituality a priority and for some of you you have been extremely drained by some incident, event, or, you know, whether it's happening in your life, maybe you've been affected by the floods, of course, my love to everybody. Um, or maybe, you know, some people were in Afghanistan. Let me know down below if you were in Afghanistan or if you were in any part of that world and you experienced any of that, um, shall I say, horror. Um, you know, any, any of the, if you feel traumatized, especially, you know, we are an emotional support group here. Um, we are not psychologists. It's not a psychological evaluation or diagnosis or anything of the sort, but we do come together in higher consciousness, higher awareness, angelic energy to be there for one another. Okay. So just bear that in mind. But I feel like a lot of you, you're tired of the game. You're tired of, um, like you, you have all of this fire and power and ambition you know there are things that you want out of your life and that is part of your blueprint this might just be your sun sign but <laughs> you know it's part of your blueprint uh to to learn how to do this perhaps if it is your sun sign or to incorporate that in some way but now i feel like you're coming up on a time where um your fire is going to burn out if you don't know how to keep it sort of in check, okay? And so you're realizing more and more that it's important to touch base with your spiritual self and to connect into this higher consciousness. Now, uh, here are the lessons of this week for you. Where can you have more peace? Where can you have more compassion? And this is for yourself and for others. And as I said, the word forgiveness is coming up. So you, you step into action, but in this other more powerful kind of way. Okay, so it's not, it could be something in your own personal world. You're going to see edits. I cannot get words out. Okay, <laughs> let's try this again. It's like take three. What I'm trying to say is that you are uh, realizing where you don't want to be judgmental anymore over a group of people. That's the section of the sentence I couldn't get out for whatever reason. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> so you want to come to peace and you want there to be more harmony between you and others. And really with the help of this guardian angel or guardian angels okay everybody has many of them coming in at this point yeah so usually you're born in with two i think again i'm sure you could be born in with 20 of them i don't know but mostly the clients i've had it's been two uh and then as you go through things in your life you have these other guardian angels that step in um i just had uh angel akasha 
come in and now she's helping me out uh, I have another guide named Gabriel it's not Archangel Gabriel but it's Gabriel who's come in to help me so it's interesting and so tune in make sure you're tuning in to see uh, if there are new members of your spiritual team that have come forward but what this is doing is really uh, through the help of these guardians and guardian angels helping you to relieve uh, some of the anger the hatred you're ready to let go of this you're ready to let go of this. And that's not just, oh, I decided I'm over it, therefore I am. Eh. I mean, you have to feel out why that was there in the first place. Okay. So this is, I would even dare call this empathy, where you're literally putting yourself in someone else's shoes and having this clear understanding of, if I'm honest, I wouldn't have done it any differently than they did under those circumstances. Okay. So it's freeing yourself up from... Again, we keep talking about energy drains. The energy drain of seeing people as my enemy or feeling like I have to topple someone over to be okay, to get somewhere so that I'm secure. You feel me? Work on the peace, the compassion, and be working with your guardian angel. All right, we're going to leave it there for you guys. As always, I'm sending you so much love. And let's get on to the next sign. Hi there, Taurus. Let's see what is going on for you. There's that celebration is good news. I immediately felt like someone who wanted to get pregnant and your destiny, if you want to call it destiny, um, your soul's contract definitely has a pregnancy. Um, I'm hearing rebirth as well. Yeah, so you might be getting some really good news. For some of you too, the celebration card has to do with, um, it, there's this big theme of letting go. It's going to happen little by little, but this big theme of letting go and maybe your energy comes back. This outwardly, could it be, you know, like an opportunity coming in? Sure. Um, but it feels like an internal, I want to call it a victory, but that's a very human way of putting it, an internal victory where it's worth more than anything because you know, you can have the love partner and the great job and all the money and the house and the kids and the dog, the perfect dog. I don't know. <laughs> you can have like your whole wish thing put together. But there are people who have that and they're still unhappy. So the thing that you have to celebrate is your understanding, your wisdom, the, the ability to let go of something. Okay. To finally be free. To finally be free. Yeah, there's weddings too, perhaps. <laughs> I feel like people are getting married. Um. I just saw, like, I'm seeing, this looks like India to me, or what my my understanding, I've never been there, <laughs> but uh, my understanding of India, and it looks like it's an Indian wedding, and um, people are, these two are really in love. I mean, this is a beautiful thing. It's a very uplifted kind of feeling. So there is some sort of, like I said, a victory, some sort of, yeah, you could see it as a payoff, perhaps. For most of us, first and foremost, it feels very internal. But this can be, um, you know what it feels like? It feels like someone believing in you. Someone believing in you. And for some of you, maybe you really need that. And you don't want to need that. And maybe you've just been going along and doing your spiritual practice and going, you know what, I'm not working for validation. That's not what we're talking about here. This is more of that feeling supported because there's a real connection here. Someone actually appreciates what you're doing and you appreciate what they're doing. And... There's that, so it, I almost want to call it like otherworldly kind of love and understanding. It's not something we get to see too much anymore because people are like, oh my gosh, this is my best friend. And it just feels like a story that they came up with, right? But I'm talking like that true, like kindred spirit connection. There could be something around all of that. Okay. Then we have ancestors. We want to watch this because, you know, ancestors made a lot of mistakes. <laughs> okay. And there, for the longest time, there was like sort of like this ancestor uh, worship. And that's not the feeling I'm getting here. It's learning from the past, learning from your ancestors, even learning from your own past lives. Well, we see it as past lives. Time is not actually linear. They're not actually past. It's all sort of vibrating at the same time. But 
however you want to look at it that's up to you okay <laughs> but the ancestors card is popping up here and it is i think realizing where some of the shortcomings that you have in your life might be directly um connected to or can be contributed to a mindset that has been passed down through the generations this is very much like an ancestral clearing okay maybe ancestral healing and being free of a pattern being free of a pattern some of you maybe you're celebrating sobriety and good for you <laughs> good for you congratulations some of you are finally coming out of a time of isolation which society will tell you is so unhealthy and so from a spiritual perspective, I mean, just about any spiritual teacher that, like, that you could think of went off into isolation to figure themselves out, okay? <laughs> so don't worry about that. I mean, unless you're doing it and it doesn't feel right, it doesn't feel nice, then reach out for help, of course. But don't let society tell you what your process needs to be necessarily. Okay, and we have surrender. And what you're discovering is when I just kind of allow things to, I just toppled over a, a crystal. It's my little smoky quartz and he's sitting here with us, okay? Uh, but we uh, kind of release the control, the creativity can flow. As you guys know, or maybe you don't know, I'm a writer. I, I've been a writer. I gave up on it for the longest time. I had a very painful experience in a company. Like, I know I keep talking about it all the time. It's just the most recent weirdo thing. And it was also like the weirdest thing that's ever happened to me. So there's that. But anyway, I kind of gave up on it because... Um, it just didn't bring me joy anymore. It reminded me too much of that place and certain people. And I also had this feeling of once I get it done, what do I do with it? No matter where I go, they have their feelers into everything. I can't escape these people, <laughs> right? And so uh, for the longest time, I just, I wouldn't write. I mean, I would write some things. I would write, you know, little journals. And if a story idea popped up, I would jot that down. But I mean, I'm talking like, really really getting into it and then I went through this whole releasing you know again it's over and over and over again we're all going through the process right and um, I finally just sort of surrendered and said okay I don't even know what I'm supposed to learn from that but I'm done <laughs> right and what happened was entered it wasn't mentally it was energetically I just kind of laid it down and said it doesn't matter it's over it's over and suddenly this rush of energy now let me explain I, I would love to hear you guys' take on um inspiration because for me it's not oh all these ideas are going through my head let me get them down sometimes that happens but this is an energy where there are no ideas but the ideas i can feel like the idea uh, the ideas will come once i sit down and start writing and sure enough when i did that i sat and wrote for four hours and it felt like no time had passed by um so i i feel like you're kind of in that space where you're you're figuring out what you've been taught. You're letting that go. And now all of a sudden this flood of beauty, this flood of uh, calmness, maybe even peace, inspiration, all of that comes forward. All right. So we're going to leave it there for you guys. And as always, I'm sending you so much love. On to the next sign. Hi there, Gemini. Let's see what is going on for you. Okay, that should do it. Let's see what we have. Playfulness. All right, so overthinking. I'm having a heck of a time getting words out. Let me just pick that up. Playfulness, okay. <laughs> oh boy, it's gonna be a long day of filming. Let me tell you, playfulness. So the, the feeling that's coming up around this is there's a sense of overthinking, over planning and being too perfectionistic. You get yourself stuck, right? And saying, go out and enjoy yourself. Uh, open up your energy a little bit more because everything has been so heavy and serious, which is part of what we're supposed to be understanding right now. Okay? Harmony. I love the story that is popping up for everybody. It, it's giving yourself a break. Now, that does not mean that things are not going to be going on in the world. I literally, it was a Gemini who one time I did a breakout for all the signs back when I was doing them as separate videos and um you know I did the weekly which is sort of like general and in the world and all factors and then the individual signs is more about the individual and how they are processing what's going on well Gemini had a very positive reading and this person came back and said I'm a Gemini and there's all this stuff going on in the world you said it was gonna be great I never said it was gonna be great out in the world I said 
you're going to handle it well. What? Anyway, that's an example of overthinking it and over analyzing it. And what does that do? It robs you of harmony. Okay. So try to catch yourselves if you're getting too serious about something or getting too wound up in the details. Details are good, but this is, this has a feeling here of, um, it's going to, it's going to work against you. Yes. And hope. So you are really transmuting something here. Okay. You're definitely transmuting something where, um, Something was really eating away at you. Something really just kind of kept coming at you. And it started to get you into a place, man. I'm telling you, it started to get you into a place. <sighs> Interesting. Oh, 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 sorry. Making the, connecting the dots here. So here... I have no idea if you're going to see this, but up here, there are like pigeons or like doves. I guess they're doves. Um, these doves, but they're like in shadow, right? They, they're kind of dark. And, you know, this is the place that you're trying to transmute. You're trying to come through all these stressors, all of these things that are really just pulling on your attention and not being able. And that's where you're becoming really perfectionist, perfectionistic because <laughs> things just didn't seem like they were coming together and all of your regular methods and ways of getting things to work just isn't happening. So you might have had an experience where you're panicking over something, but fear not. Again, you're not gonna see it so teeny tiny, but there's this tiny little dove over here and he's not in shadow. So it's like you're coming out of that. You're coming out of um, the darkness, the shadow, but what you need to transmute. I do feel like for a lot of you, there's a situation. <laughs> it's a situation, um, whatever's causing you stress right now. Okay. It's a general reading. So it could be a lot of things to a lot of different people. It's saying step back and disconnect a little bit because you're not seeing it clearly, obviously. And you're just going to keep swirling and swirling and swirling until you realize that the solution is to stop and step back and work on meditating centering then the solution will fall into place right working on your own peace and harmony and what this does is that you start you start to see that I don't have to handle it maybe for some of you or um I'm taking on too much I need to just you know it's just like I need to distance myself even a little bit it's not judging someone and saying you know you're making my life blah 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 I'm out of here it's not that you're learning how through a different perspective, how to process something and how to handle it better on your own. And that brings you into a place of hope. So it could be, however you're transmuting this, you actually have hope for a future that you have lost for a while. Or this could be, it's you coming back to yourself. Something may have pulled you really off course for the longest time. Or maybe you just had your head down being so studious and you didn't look up and go, oh, the season's changed. <laughs> Oops, where, where did time go? You know, it, it's being more balanced and harmonious in that way as well. Okay, so we're going to leave it there for you guys. I am sending you so much love. Have a beautiful week. It is actually timeless, but you know, whatever. <laughs> you have a beautiful time and we're going to get on to the next time. Hi there, Cancer. Let's see what is going on for you. Hope you're all doing okay. I do feel heaviness, um, emotional heaviness, but you're handling it. You're okay. You're just a, let's spread a little thin right now. Uh, <laughs> but I feel like some of you are like, that's an understatement, okay? I swear, if one more stupid thing happens, I'm out. I'm going to go move away. <laughs> like, run away from everything. All right. Let's see. Home. So home is coming up in a big way. Hmm. Now, this is, these aren't necessarily astrological readings. I'm not an astrologer. I just use the signs because that's what people ask for. <laughs> and um, it's a good way to kind of, you know, divide everybody up so I can just focus on smaller groups. But um, so check with an astrologer to see if there's something going on with cancers around the home. But yeah, purity. Because I was feeling like you're kind of like, home is very uh, much about energy flow. So I know I have a Cancer Moon, so uh, in Western astrology, and I know that when my home is disorganized and messy, 
I, I don't love it. Okay. I don't love it. And I don't love not having pretty things around and having it be cozy and <laughs> welcoming and, and all of that. So there could be on a very surface mundane level. If you're feeling a little off, um, look at the energy around your home. Yes. So there could be things, cause I almost feel like it's like, um, I have this thing that someone, like I have a, what is it? It's a pendant. It's a cameo pendant and it was my grandmother's. It's gorgeous. It's this antique cameo. I love it. It's extraordinary. It's unlike any cameo I've ever seen, but I can't really look at it too often. It makes me sad. It makes me miss her so much. So it could be that kind of thing where maybe you've had something like that around and you just feel sad all the time, but you can't figure out why. It's okay to keep it, obviously, but maybe put it away so you don't have to look at it all the time. You know, it's that kind of thing. So purifying your home and also purifying your thoughts, your feelings, getting clarity, mm -hmm. cleaning your heart house <laughs> too, very much that, and harmony. I think, what was it, Gemini? I think Gemini got this too. I just did Gemini, so I don't know why I can't remember things, but... Anyway, a lot of edits in these videos. I cannot talk today for some reason. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> you're looking for your harmony. You're looking for your peace. You want everything to feel stable and cozy. I mean, it is really about being <laughs> being that, but not just that. It, it's needing a break. It's just needing a break because you're on emotional overload. So if you're, this isn't everybody, but for some of you might have had major personal turnovers. Okay might have had a child go off to college, um, not being able to figure out where home is or with whom home is. Um, uh, for some of you, there's a, there's been turmoil. There's been a lot of turmoil. And some of you, this does not surprise me, especially everything that's been going on in the world. But like some of you, especially in New York City, in that surrounding area, I think a lot of you are trying to get out of the city, like you're wanting to leave because disease, maybe mandates that you don't like or um, floods and there are going to be more of those. Okay. Lots more um, and other threats. Okay. Let's just leave it at that. And you do want to feel like you're in a space of purity and harmony. Let me tell you, don't, don't have the pitfall of coming to Colorado Springs. Seriously, I just did you a favor, okay? <laughs> uh, people are flooding into Colorado Springs thinking that it's going to be this, like, great alternative to a big city. And it's a mid-sized city, and they're not very welcoming here, okay? Not everybody's like that, but uh, I ran across enough of them that did not want outsiders. <laughs> like, so there you go. Especially people from the coast. They do not like people from the coast. Boulder's okay with New Yorkers, but anyway. So it does feel like you are making some hard decisions here. Um but whatever it is, you really have to do sort of an energetic clear out. So just like you would declutter your home, you have to declutter your emotions. Let's get this other card here. Release. Yeah. Now, does this mean that, you know, you're taking a wrecking ball to your life and you're just cutting ties with everybody? No. Remember, people can transform, but they have to transform. And then you have to kind of see how the situation, if you can come together. Um but this is releasing resentment, hurt, anger, maybe self-centeredness for some people. Maybe. Um, yeah, part of this release has to do with like, I'm, I'm a little confused. And I'm kind of pausing on this because part of it is forgiveness. Forgiveness so you can release it. But then I heard making amends. But it's not like the people actually came together. It was just sort of like. I don't know because I'm not really getting more around it. It's like making amends and then you just go on with your lives kind of thing. So you'll have to see what that is for you. But take a moment here. Take a moment to assess and look around and go, what doesn't work for me anymore? What is a painful reminder? Um, I, again, I've been telling other signs and I've used these examples all the time because they're, they're good to get across the point that I'm trying to make. But, you know, and it's the most recent thing that I've been through with a corporation, but I had like this little, um, they give you these little awards for being there for so long and putting up with them for so many years. So you get this little, <laughs> little award and I had mine. It's pretty. So I had it up on a bookshelf and it was in my studio. 
I, my dining room is my studio. Um, and, um, I remember I would just go in there and I would be doing some editing or trying to get some bookkeeping done. And I just always felt kind of, you know, like what? And then I would turn around and I remember looking at that thing one day and all the bad memories came flooding back. I didn't want to get rid of it. Right. It's the same thing. Like, you know, like grandma's brooch, like I don't want to get, or the cameo, I don't want to get rid of it, but I don't need that thing staring down at me either. <laughs> so I put it away. It's, it's off somewhere. And, you know, we get back to processing. But that's part of noticing what does trigger you because it does have that emotional response behind it. And that's going to be a good indicator of what you need to work on and release. Okay. When you do that, I think there's going to, you're going to see some turnabout. You're going to see some things starting to come together that previously you thought there's no solution to that or there's no getting through that, you know, or whatever. It's going to start finding a way. All right, so we're going to leave it there for you guys. I'm sending you so much love, and let's get on to the next sign. Hi there, Leo. Let's see what is going on for you. This really wants to come out. Gentleness. <laughs> this card, it's a beautiful card, but it freaks me out. She's like a ghost bride, and she does not look pleased. <laughs> like, she, she looks like she's a little like, I can't believe I got to get married. I don't know. But anyway, the card says gentleness. So there. So take a gentle approach. I, I do feel like you guys, if you didn't get a chance to take a vacation, maybe you are finding a couple of days. Um, and if you are going to do it, do it now. Because I don't know what's going to be happening in fall. I'm just going to let you know. So um, in, in gentleness with how, oh, okay, gentleness with yourself and how you talk to yourself. But also gentleness with how you're talking to others. I'm hearing insecurity. Yeah, I don't know. It's like this, um, this sort of insecurity. You can't, there, there's a feeling here, there's a situation where you just don't want to be wrong because it makes you feel too insecure to be wrong. And the message here is to just surrender, just take some gentle little time, just unplug from it for a little bit, take some time for yourself, get some clarity. But, um, any conversation should have some measure of compassion, <laughs> okay? So just, just remember that. But yeah, peace. You just want to come to peace and be done with things, right? So anything that's hanging over your head, I'm just, I'm tired of trying to figure out my life. I'm just going to be at peace with it, with what is. Let it come together as it needs to. But as always, the focus here needs to really be on your spiritual practice, yes? So whatever it is that's sort of plaguing you, let's say, Come to peace with it. What does that mean for you? Does that mean that you go into a clearing meditation or you um, have a conversation? Or again, if you have a conversation, be gentle. Be gentle. Because I do have a feeling here for some, like you sort of bulldozed over someone. It was like you're off in la la land, like la 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 la, I'm just enjoying my day. And you don't even realize the destruction that you're causing for people right? So there might be something around, <laughs> I know, right? There might be something around that where like, oops, I had that effect on you. I didn't know that. I, I didn't know you felt that way. I didn't, I didn't know it was that serious or whatever. Okay. So be gentle. And again, there's kind of this confusing thing here where it's like, um, some of you might really start to feel guilty, <laughs> you know, like you're really feeling guilty. It's all over the place. It's, it's, just all these emotions, yes? And it is because you're feeling the rumbling of the process that you're going through. And you're meant to look at yourself. You're meant to look at a situation and what can you learn from that? And why did you react the way that you did? What is that connected to? Uh, and start working on that, okay? You don't have to go like, you know, hands and knees begging for forgiveness from somebody. But truth you're in the process of finding truth. And it's not just about a situation, guys. It's about you, your place in this universe. What are we doing here as a collective? Okay, it's that sort of thing. And choice. Oh my gosh. Okay, so <laughs> there's a feeling here that you have to make some major choice, whether that is walking away from a job I'm talking like some of you are well established in your work and you're contemplating walking away from it. Um, what kind of life do I want to lead? Who do I want to be with? Oh 
let okay because there's a dominating story that's coming up and i don't think it's for everybody usually remember i think i said this in one of the other videos um when we're doing general readings you try to plug into the collective but sometimes you have a really big energy that's like right there and they're just wanting you <laughs> <laughs> to mention it um so there is um a situation where someone's really trying to decide who to be with right who they need to be with so there is that but um the choice is not what you think you have to choose am i going to be that person that knows how to play the surface level game and i only think about myself for some people or am i going to grow and develop and learn how to have a healthier connection with someone and how to show up in this world as a real contributor of heart right and soul like what can i how can i be better <laughs> right and as i say that again that's just that bigger energy that's coming in here but um and that's not to say that you guys aren't like good people or that you're all just selfish and self-centered it's not that it's um does your process work for you now you might be sitting there going yeah it works great but who does it sacrifice so that your process can work for you that's what you're looking at who do i hurt with my actions who have i not considered when i'm thinking of this choice right um and, and you might come to this place i don't guys it's really strange it's like you kind of get pulled in so many different directions that you just kind of snap and you kind of not snap but you just kind of release yes and you're not going to be able to figure anything out or what you as an individual need to understand for your soul's progress until you do kind of step back maybe that's the getaway right that's that's going shoot even if you have to go to a cabin for a few days or one of my favorite things back when you know before before covid and you know business was good um i used to do little staycations especially around my birthday i would just you know i'm in a town full of resorts so you know wait for a good deal for us freelancers <laughs> you gotta even when times are good you gotta plan for when times are bad as as played out in 2020 um but i would find a place go there and it was just a change of scenery and you know they take care of you at a resort i go get a spa treatment a little a little tune up <laughs> a little something <laughs> for whatever and sometimes i would go and write but again that's where just the change of scenery and a change of environment can really help you decompress it can help you start having these realizations so you got to be meditating and you can go to a resort too if you want i don't know <laughs> maybe you want to go play golf or something i don't know how to do that so i don't even bother if somebody wants to teach me that's fine but i'll try anything once but anyway the point here is to uh <laughs> you know what i want to say <laughs> it's stop drop and roll <laughs> like things are too crazy stop drop and roll like you, you don't keep pushing in the direction that you have been don't keep taking the same approach i feel like some of you have these goals or these ideas that are like delicate beautiful little butterflies and you know how butterflies are if you go stomping after them they take off and they're like you weirdo what are you even doing but if you're gentle <laughs> if you're gentle and you have especially do this as a practice stand there with your hand out and just have really good intention the butterflies will land all over you i've had it happen um uh, rare butterflies i was in one of those places that has the butterflies everywhere and um the one of them one of those big blue ones i don't know what they're called but the big blue ones i guess they really don't go near humans usually uh, that's what the person there said landed on my shoulder which was super awkward because everybody's like a tourist and so i had just stand there <laughs> like, like still with everybody taking pictures of my face with the strangest face with this thing i don't know my face is everywhere now i don't, I don't know what to tell you but the, the reason why i think that that butterfly came over to me and was avoiding everybody else was because i came in with a lot of concern if you've ever gone into one of those places where they just have butterflies everywhere like aren't you afraid of stepping on them aren't you afraid of hurting them like i i was very cautious and really engaged and really loving this experience here it comes same kind of thing with your goals okay it was a really long story and i do apologize hang with me um but that is how you get to your goals is by not like stomping after it or you know trying to force someone 
to have a discussion, but approaching with this gentleness, okay? That will help you resolve some outstanding issues, um, things that are getting you stuck. I think that's what we're talking about here. Anything that is kind of getting you kind of hung up, this will free you, okay? You have to see how that plays out for you. But we're going to leave it there for you guys. I am sending you so much love and on to the next sign. Hi there, Virgo. Let's see what is going on for you. I'm having a heck of a time with these cards. Oh, dear. So you don't want to let go, huh? No, you don't. <laughs> Just our cards fling out. Let's see what we've got here. Uh, thought and freedom. <laughs> Literally, whenever I'm... I don't know why I'm holding them stupidly. Um, whenever I'm <laughs> shuffling and the cards stick, you know, this is not a deck that sticks usually. It's kind of done so that you can shuffle them. Um, it, it does show me that you're getting stuck. There's a stuck energy. And then when something flies out, it, that's the equivalent of you getting stuck, getting stuck, getting stuck, and then going, I can't do this anymore. Ah, the wheels have come up. And then you overreact. Maybe you go flying across the room. I don't know. Hopefully not. Don't hurt yourselves. <laughs> but like you are getting in trouble by your own thoughts. You're overthinking. And if you play your cards right here, you can have freedom. This is freedom over here. And this is thought. So this would be a time to really catch yourself when you're ruminating. Yes. Uh, catch yourself when you're overthinking, obviously. Um, obsessions. And... Obsession, having obsessions over how you think things should be done or obsessively replaying what someone said to you because maybe you miss that person. Maybe this is like the last time you had a conversation and you're like, what, what do they mean by that? Or maybe you got into a fight and someone says something and you're like, what did you mean by that? You know, <laughs> it's going to really honestly take too much out of you. Ancestors. This is a family pattern. This is a family pattern that I think is coming up to the surface for you now. And you're realizing, you know what? I was always taught to worry about what people thought of me. Or, you know what? I was taught that you got to clamp down on something if you don't want it to fly away. Right? I was just, who was that for? That wasn't for you guys. I think it was for Leo. Um, I was using the analogy of a butterfly. If you, you know, approach a butterfly with good intentions and gently... It'll let you approach. It might even land on you. But if you come stomping after it with the intention of, I'm going to catch you, right? It flies away. Or you literally have to, if you have a net or something, you like very forcefully <laughs> caught the butterfly, right? Um, so this might be something, it's a pattern. There's something about a pattern that's not necessarily toxic. It's been a beautiful part of your path and you understanding yourself and um, it's led you into situations that have helped you be very contemplative like that. But it's not serving you anymore. Now it's time to heal it. Now it's time to heal it and have some freedom around your thoughts. Have freedom around your thoughts. You know, you don't have to... Oh God, I'm thinking of like a family dynamic where you have to go along to get along and everybody has to act like they're perfect. I don't know if any of you can relate to that. Um, and then finally, you're just like, no, I don't have to pretend to be okay. I don't have to pretend that nothing bothers me. I don't have to pretend that I really enjoy going to Christmas and all the bratty kids are complaining about their gifts and how they didn't get the more expensive gifts. You know, I don't have to sit here and pretend like that's okay, right? <laughs> you know, so it's that kind of thing where you're breaking away from a thought form. Now, this is not sort of the grandiose thought form that gets into us and makes us behave poorly. We're accountable for how we treat one another but what I'm saying is the influence of it it's not that big it's it's more of the family influence okay and family could be friends groups of friends it could be uh your colleagues where no I'm not just going to go along with the crowd anymore and why do I do that and there we go you start to look at that and now you're going to be able to break whatever habit pattern um Whatever, whatever is kind of just holding, it's really sucking the life out of you, <laughs> whatever this is. And for a lot of you, maybe it is worry over what's to come next. Or uh, someone out there has a business that you're trying to get off the ground. 
and you're kind of doing that fake it till you make it thing where you're like, no, this is gonna be good. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Here's why fake it till you make it doesn't work. It gets you into denial. The whole thing is denial, right? No, it's law of attraction. Does anybody actually know what the law of attraction is? Or are we just talking? Real question. Okay. <laughs> because you got to balance this out. You know, you can't just kid yourself and then it comes. Yes, it does. You have to do it. It's not anger to anything. It's going to go away. Okay. <laughs> do not as I do. Okay. <laughs> but what I'm getting at here is that if you're in that phase of fake it till you make it, you're not doing um, the real work around it. You're not, um, you can't just wish something into existence and not have to take the cues from the universe to make it happen. You're the reason why things happen in the physical right? So it does exist somewhere out there in the field, but you are supposed to craft it. Does this make sense? Okay. If it doesn't, I'm sorry, (laughs) but that's what I'm, I'm feeling here. So free yourselves of, uh, you know, free yourselves of any sort of victimization too. And what I mean by that is where you feel powerless, that you are just, um, a victim to your circumstances or, Some of you have some funny relationship dynamics where it's like, well, you know, some like someone barrels over you, right? And they're just like, I'm just going to do whatever I want. I'm going to come into your house anytime, blah. And you're like, well, this is what people do, right? (laughs) Like, no, 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 no. You do what is right for you. And you could set boundaries. Of course, I know a lot of you out there are good at setting really healthy, beautiful boundaries. Um, But there might be a specific situation here or a long held pattern that you have been taught that you haven't worked through yet. That is what is coming up to the surface whenever you see this video. Okay. So be meditating, be doing that. You know, you're not ruminating, (laughs) you're not ruminating, you're allowing yourself to expand and open your heart and let the clarity come to you. Okay. Don't control whatever's going on there. I don't think you can anyway. And I think it's kind of draining you. So just be careful with that. All right. We're going to leave it there for you guys. I'm sending you so much love and take care and on to the next sign. Hi there, Libra. Let's see what is going on for you. What do we have for you? We have discernment. Okay, so immediately um, there's a very eye-opening time coming for you. And what you are learning is discernment. So this could have been anything, but it does have to do with people first and foremost, and then the situation comes behind it. So it could be like, you know what? I thought these were work friends and I can't trust them. Okay, so there's they're the people, but it's in the work environment. That's the situation, okay? Because maybe you still have to work with these people or it's a family member or a love partner that now you're pretty enmeshed with and now I'm seeing how manipulative you are, Machiavellian and, you know, all of that. So this is saying, you know, don't just sit back and pretend like things aren't happening, Okay. So there's the start of your reading. (laughs) Let's get better news for you. This doesn't have to be a betrayal. I mean, it's not that. Or it doesn't have to be this like, oh my God, I can't believe. It's more like, really girl, you did that. Why are you talking behind my back? (laughs) Kind of thing. And you know, that's not a bad thing for you to wake up to. All right. So we, these both came out together. So we have, um, we're coughing. Okay. Sorry. (laughs) We have compassion and strength compassion and strength yeah you're coming out of a bad situation some of you now if you're saying no i'm not my life is great Uh, i'm talking this could be like a deep remember the whole thing here is about looking at our deep emotional patterns what are the things that we do to ourselves (laughs) (laughs) so this is having compassion for yourself over here and having the strength to move on having the strength to move on so maybe a new thing for you is let's say you're the peacekeeper you're the one that everybody comes to and says i'm so sick of that maybe people come to you and complain let's start there and um you 
talk them down, you get it all even, everything's all nice and all that stuff. You're a very compassionate person, but now you're just, you're not getting things done that you need to get done because people are pulling on you too much. So this is that kind of thing where you have compassion, but you're realizing it's just kind of toxic. You know, I've got this person saying this to me and then they go back to that person and say something different. Or I see a pattern here where someone's trying to turn somebody again. You know what I mean? It's like all that messy, like petty stuff that you, you wake up and you realize, okay, I was trying to help somebody, but I realize now I've just contributed to the pettiness. Okay. I like, <laughs> I remember I'm laughing because there was a, an example in a corporation where a pack of women, they were all gossiping and one woman just happened to be standing there. I saw the whole thing. She just happened to be standing there and just by proxy, she ended up being a part of it. And these people, uh, they started to leave the company. I don't know if they got fired, but, uh, fired for gossiping. I have no idea, but they started to leave the company and this one woman, cause they were gossiping about me, by the way. Um, and this one woman who just happened to get into the mix, she was freaking out and she calls me into her office. She goes, you know, I wasn't a part of that. I just happened to be standing there. I wasn't gossiping about you. Like she really thought that I had the power to get people fired or something. You know, it, but I'm laughing because that example's coming up trying to illustrate this message where you feel like you're like, I just was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Don't throw me into the mix, but someone has. So there is a perspective of you out there. And this is, this is a part of your soul's growth. Okay. Because this is helping you understand the image that you are projecting out um not that you're fake not that you're fake but you know the discernment did you trust the right people someone could have thrown you under the bus i'm using the example of workplace stuff but you know don't don't be paranoid going into work being like oh am i going to get called into the boss's office and get a talking to because blah 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 you're just going to realize again it's all part of the soul growth for you that as much as you want to see the good in everybody they have to nurture their own good and it does feel like playing with fire like it's playing with fire and somebody turns around and burns you a little bit um doesn't have to be huge. It's just enough to wake you up and you're like, not doing that again. Okay. So be ready for a situation ish around something like that. Again, I'm just giving like a work example, but it could be in anything or, um, cause I feel, I feel like families too, where it's like, again, someone's always like, Oh, I love my family. I love it. But you, you know, you show up and you see how that person gets treated by their family and it's not good. Right. So something's coming to light here. It does feel very relationship uh, oriented, but you're finding your strength. And that's, that's the card I keep looking down at. Um, this is the beautiful part of it because you get to come through. You, you are learning your lesson around that. It's not about like shut down your heart, and not trust people. It's about seeing people for what they are and for what they bring to the table. Okay, and not just pretending like it wasn't there. And feeling okay to walk away when you're not appreciated. Now, this is not encouraging you to be self-centered and be like, you know what, I'm doing, we see this a lot. I see it all over social media. I'm going to do the bare minimum. Why am I not paid more? Uh, you're, you're already paid way more than I ever was at your age, so why are you complaining? Like... <laughs> <laughs> and you're not doing near the work I had to do back then, but whatever. It, it's it's not like being self-centered um, or entitled in that way. It's more they keep using the word reset. You're just kind of resetting how you approach and what what you allow people to hook into. That makes sense. I hope it does for some of you out there at least. Um, let's see if I can get more clarity on that. Again, it's a soul lesson. It's it's helping you. To trust your own intuition when it comes to situations. So if you come on a situation and you never had a good feeling about that person, it's not like you're trying to judge them. But again, that intuition is pinging and telling you like, not good, not good, not good. Don't believe that person who says that they're going to help you because they're not. 
or they were going to help you and then the opportunity came their way and they said, oh, forget you. I'm sorry, this is a little bit of backstabbing. This is like some backstabbing going on here. And yet, you're still having compassion. I know this sounds weird. You're still having compassion for the person who did this because you see the good in people. You want to believe in the good in people. It, this would be that kind of thing of, oh, what? Somebody, somebody did that and it harmed me? They must have been having a bad day. No, they're a jerk, okay? <laughs> and that's what you're trying to learn. Quit giving people chances, right? No. <laughs> no, but you're, you're gaining your strength from this. So it's a little bump in the road. Not awful. You'll handle it. It's fine. It feels like a letdown. It feels like it's like, I'd rather that not had happened, but um, okay. <laughs> and now I know not to get myself in those situations ever again. And to learn, you know, that one example I was giving about how the woman was standing there, you know, she had the option to walk away. She could have done that and she didn't because again, she wanted probably, I don't know what she would have wanted. I'm not her, but I would guess that she didn't want to seem like she wasn't cool with it or that she was judging these other women because these other women were evil. <laughs> they were evil and it would be one of those situations if she did try to walk away and didn't do it correctly, right? They would come after her. You feel me? So again, it's a sticky thing here and you might be sitting there going, there's nobody gossiping about me. First of all, you don't know that. Secondly, it's just one example. Look at where you give someone too much the benefit of the doubt or you've allowed them even to backstab you and then you forgive them and then they backstab you again and you forgive them. It's that sort of thing. Okay? Sorry. <laughs> Have a good week. All right. I'm sending you all so much love and take care. Let's get on to the next sign. Hi there, Scorpio. Let's see what is going on for you. Oh, there's a card that fell out. I didn't even see it fall down. Oh, that's funny. I, <laughs> I'm shuffling. I thought I felt something fall, but I, it was just weird. Like the way I was holding the cards, I didn't see it. Long story. Anyway, intuition. Your intuition is on fire. Now, here's the deal. So this is insight. This is sudden revelations. This is epiphanies about you. Your intuition might be showing you, hey, you're a little too conniving sometimes. Hey, you're a little vengeful sometimes. I'm a Scorpio. I get this crap all the time, though. <laughs> it works. It works as an example. But no, I do really feel... Like this is sort of checking ourselves on our own egos and this intuition about, okay, so if you're asking like, why can't I find love? Why can't I find love? Do you really want love? And then you tap into your intuition and all this insight starts coming up that no, I'm doing a lot of soul growth right now, or I'm trying to work on my own stability. I'm trying to live up to my potential and I think love would distract me right now. Right. So maybe that's someone's story out there or, you know, my intuition is, okay, if I'm honest, I didn't have the greatest intention around that. I just wanted to win. I want to think of myself as um, a survivor, someone who has overcome and all of that. But really, I just didn't like that person and I wanted to see them fail. <laughs> right? You know, that could be part of what's coming up in the intuition. It is kind of like a self check here. Like definitely watch how you're thinking and how you show up it's not it doesn't have to be all bad all the time what I'm getting at here is you're turning a corner and in order to release and kind of clear the way you're having to recognize some truth yeah patience this is um not rushing the process either so um I do feel like there's a comfort around this patience. Patience isn't usually a card that people like to see pop out for their reading. <laughs> but um, in this case, I think it does, it does serve you quite well. And I think you'll have an appreciation for the bit of a slowdown here to tune in. How am I doing, right? <laughs> like, you know, because that seems like a silly question to ask yourself. But we do get so focused on things that are just siphoning our time and attention that we don't stop and go, okay, I'm not even happy. Am I happy? I, I've just been going through the motions. 
Do I feel fulfilled? Do I feel inspired? Like, what am I doing, right? It's, it's that sort of thing. So let that process play out. And the more you do, the more these things will pop up for you and make sense for you as an individual, okay? All right. Too many trying to pop out. Dreams. This is a highly, highly, highly psychic time. So things, first of all, on a personal level that you need to work on, maybe that is blocking you from your happiness, you will have that come up in your dreams. It could be a dream where you're actually angry at someone and you're screaming at them. And then you wake up and you're like, why was I mad at them in the dream? Like they haven't done anything. True story. Uh, had a boyfriend who everything seemed great. Everything was great. I kept having dreams. Not that this is going to happen to you. I just think it's an interesting uh, illustration of how how we're communicated to through our dreams and I kept getting dreams where he was for one betraying me and I would wake up feeling betrayed but I didn't know he had done anything and then I started having a dream where there was this woman and I could see her and she was blonde and I could see her facial structure and everything and you know I told him I had this weird dream and I described her and his face fell that's literally what she looked. I never met her. Had no idea this was even going on. If you want to see it as my subconscious was letting me know. But how would I know what she looked like? That had to be coming from somewhere else. And that was my cue to get out of there. At this, like he was such a good liar. I had no idea um, besides my dreams, right? Again, I'm not saying you guys are going to like find out that someone's cheating necessarily, but <laughs> but you know, this is how powerful our dreams can be. So what do you want answers to? What has what have you had to have a lot of patience with? <laughs> right? What have you been waiting on? Uh the dream state and your intuition. Your intuition is going to be working through your dream state to bring the solutions, to bring the answers, to bring the realizations. Now, if you are in this sort of lower energy where you can't be told nothing, right? Uh, you think you're perfect, you have no room for growth, or you try to look like a big person, you're like, well, I guess I could improve this. No. Like, if you're really in for the soul work and the transformation of that, you're going to have to look at some hard-hitting things, like lack of self-worth, and maybe that's why you get hung up on somebody. I've used that example before, or you don't think you really could do a different job, so you never try. Um, so on and so on. I'm going to come with uh, examples all day so this is a, it's a soul searching kind of time yes and you're going to be having things come up that you're really going to have to just live it out for a bit that's where the patience comes in so you'll get these hits you'll get these intuitive hits you'll get these dream messages but some of them are not going to make sense right away as i say live it out okay live it out and see how it comes together all right so we're going to leave it there for you guys i'm sending you so much love and on to the next sign Hi there, Sagittarius. Let's see what is going on for you. Oh, 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 so many things, so many things. <laughs> First, this card came out. Discernment. I believe Libra got this as well. And protection. All right. There is a lot of splitting energy here. And what's happening is that some people are waking up they're realizing okay i gotta work on some deeper stuff here and yet people other people don't want to and it's okay if they don't want to for themselves but they don't want us to do it either right so that's what i feel like is going on here so you're finally waking up to some people who are wanting to hold you up or even sabotage now i'm not saying like there was, was it libra no it's a scorpio or libra i think a lot of backstabbing kind of energy and uh, again, you guys are getting kind of a similar thing here. It's not backstabbing. It's more like just a splitting and you have different, you're going down different paths. But these people over here who don't want to do any growth, they want to pull you back. Some, some do. So you're realizing that. And it's, it's kind of confounding to you, I believe, because you're like, don't you know who I am? <laughs> Don't you know I will not be held down? Do you not know that I'm going to do whatever I feel my soul needs me to do? And so I think the cautionary tale for you this week is 
be careful with defensiveness or self-righteousness, okay? Um, yeah, because I'm hearing lash out. There's like, you want to like lash out at somebody because you don't feel protected. I'm getting the image of somebody trapped in the corner and they're swiping at someone because they're scared. And instead of doing that, you can just protect your energy, right? You protect it not out of fear, but just protect it to keep, you know, keep yourself in check. And balance, yeah, to keep yourself balanced as well. I'm telling you, for you guys, the big thing here is that you just keep getting distracted. You keep starting new things instead of finishing old projects, perhaps, for some of you. Uh, for some of you, that has to do with school. And so maybe you're going back to school and you're completing what you had to put a pause on for a moment. Maybe you went off and started a family or something like that and you're coming back to it. Um, but there's this feeling of people questioning your every move. And it's out of, for some of them, it's out of concern. Some others are just trying to figure you out. Like they can't keep up with you. Yes. And your ego can definitely get in the way here. And you start to feel like, you know, I'm smart. I know how to do this. Right. <coughs> Excuse me. But really it's harmonizing where you are, where other people are expecting you to be. And trying to have more compassion and understanding about where they're coming from so that you can keep yourself in harmony and balance. Does that make any sense? So what I'm getting at here is it's just kind of like there's chaos. There's chaos. And somebody doesn't want you to grow. Now, I, now some of you need to get, there, there is an ego check involved here. Okay. I believe, what was it? Scorpio got that too. There's a bit of an ego check that's happening for a lot of us. And that is, you know, am I just going around acting like I know everything and I won't listen to it? I can't be told anything. Well, in some cases, it's pretty stupid. If somebody has already done what you're trying to do, let them help you. Let them give you advice. You can see if it works for you. It may not, right? You have a different situation, of course. But this is that kind of thing where it's like, Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, wow. Um, news hitting close to home. News hitting close to home. So I don't, I don't know if some of you who are watching this, there's something that happens to someone that you know, and it's on the news. And you're just trying to, trying to not crumble. Or something that is a story that's out there snap something awake inside of you so there's a trigger there's a trigger somewhere but at the end you know it's not gonna be pleasant but at the end of the day it does feel very important it's a very important thing to have had happen to you so um it could be something stupid too remember it, it could be something like you're watching one of these dating shows pick one I don't know. I don't watch them. So I don't even know what's in existence or in play anymore. But let's say you're watching one of those and there's this like really pretend, like really forced romance and they're trying to make it seem like it's so heart wrenching and like beautiful and like all this stuff. And, <laughs> and you're sitting there going, oh, that's kind of triggering because I remember when I fell for that once and I remember all the pain. Watching a TV show shouldn't send you down a spiral if it does you got to look at something okay there you're still carrying some bit of pain so it really is unlocking this thing that's sort of stuffed away for some of you you lost somebody in the military and so hearing stories um it sends you down the road of grief again that means you have more grief processing does this make sense? This is what we're talking about here. So there's a lot of unlocking. As always, make sure you get proper support, okay? I'm not a psychologist. This is not a replacement for therapy. If you are going to choose a therapist, have discernment, okay? I think I was using the example in the weekly that, you know, if you're going in to help yourself with narcissistic abuse and you have codependent tendencies and you go to somebody who's a little bit of a narcissist themselves, they're going to sit there and debate you and tell you that, 
I've had this happen. <laughs> that's not a narcissist. That's not, you know, blah, 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 blah. It wasn't like that. And gaslighting and diminishing and invalidating your experience. So just be very, very careful about who you go to. But yeah, there is, um, there is, you, there's just this aspect of you overcoming whatever this is. So I want to put that in there. So that's where you are getting that balance and you realize I need to protect myself. For some of you, you might kind of close down your heart for a moment where you're like, I thought you had my back. There's a lot of that going on for a couple of the signs where it's like, I thought it's, it's not, I don't, for you guys, I don't want to call it like full blown, um, backstabbing, but I think perhaps you had a hope that a friendship or a love, uh, situation was going to go deeper and then you realize it's not, uh, maybe this person isn't capable of going deeper right now. And so you have to make this hard decision to step back or, you know, something you have to decide whether you're going to put up with it or move on and that's where it comes into okay where am I going to have the most balance you got to take care of yourselves okay again this whole discernment this is really hitting home hitting home hitting home hitting home so we are going to leave it there for you guys I love you <laughs> check out another video if you don't like this one I love you we're going to get on to the next side <laughs> hi there Capricorn let's see what is going on for you now be careful here um you might be watching for other uh like your sun moon rising venus sign all of that there's been some like duplicating energies and one of those being backstabbing somebody's getting the truth <laughs> might not be the truth you wanted to see but let's see what it is for you this one must come out new beginnings okay so you've already discovered where you need to clean house, basically. Um, and, and hopefully this wasn't done out of anger, resentment, or anything of this sort. But here's the new beginning. So this is where really you're trying to figure out how do I want to move forward, okay? how What steps do I need to take? So be careful about over planning. It's not that. You still want to integrate the universe here and the free flow uh, of the information that can come in that way and how you can best show up so this is trying something new and having a lot of hope yes hope for happiness hope for a better day that's what i keep hearing like a hope for a better day I and mean, hopefully we can get this taken care of so we are in an era of a lot of social injustices um coming to the forefront people are very divided over how to approach it or how to even think about it and I just heard cutting loose and setting yourself free of that. So this isn't not caring, right? It's not like you don't care. It's just, I'm not going to get into the fight that now just becomes, you know, one belief fighting against another belief, you know, and that's um, not going to get us anywhere. So you're kind of, there's a bit of unplugging going on here. Let's see what this says. <laughs> sanctuary I just said there's a little bit of unplugging and stepping back a lot of people are getting that kind of uh, energy as well but again for you this is I can't get involved if, if there's something I don't want to say this something of worth that I need to hear then I will stop everything and listen but if it's just people who want to have control and they are completely misusing their energy to just run over other people you don't want to have anything to do with that so what is happening for you i'm hearing streamlined like you're feeling like you have to kind of cut out the noise a little bit recenter regroup uh, because you're trying to streamline a process there's a direction that you're heading in that maybe like you always hmm, kind of in some way you always knew that that's where you were going to go but then there were times in your life where it felt out of reach, felt like it was over, what have you. And now you're just understand because you've cleared away all the nonsense um, or what you see as nonsense. You're cutting all that out. Um, you're seeing, you're, you're figuring out how you have to kind of blast your own path. <laughs> Does that make sense? So you're having to reserve your energy to streamline. Now, again, this is not about self-centeredness. This isn't about... Um, I'm going to bury my head in the sand and pretend like things aren't happening in the world. It's not that. It's it, it's the stuff, it's the hot take that you're not participating in anymore. The person who is taking, you know, a very serious current event and just trying to go out all cocky and progressive and like 
woke and trying to diminish everybody else who has a different opinion for their own popularity, right? So that's where you're like, maybe that even kind of disgusts you or maybe you never thought of it that way and there you go. <laughs> Next time you see something like that, it's not funny. You know, I mean, th these people think that they are, you know, doing something for the good of society and they're not. They're absolutely not. They're inciting people and, you know, it's not good. So anyway, you are, you know you need to take a minute before you get rolling off into the new direction. And I don't think you're going to allow too much to get in your way. Old dream come to life. So again, this is something that may have been dormant for a while. This could be like, I've been wanting to work on that project for a while. Maybe you worked on it a little bit, but then life got in the way. This is you getting back to it. And again, you're like, Phew. I'm off in this direction. Everybody get out of my way. <laughs> like we're not messing around here, right? So it's very much that kind of energy, but it does feel very promising. Um, it, it feels like there's more, there is a bit of drama. I don't know that it's your drama. It's other people around you having drama. And yeah, of course you want to have compassion for people, but if they are somebody who's addicted to drama and they're just always making drama, that's a, that's a thing to step back from and go, no. Hey, we're not doing that. So that's what I have for you guys. I am sending you so much love. Take care and let's get on to the next sign. Hi there, Aquarius. Let's see what's going on for you. Whoa. All right. All of these cards keep flopping out. Harmony and discernment. They are telling us to wake up. Wake up. Now, wake up to what? <laughs> wake up exactly to what? It, what pulls us down? Who are the conniving people around you? You know, I, I know people who, they're good people, but they make excuses for bad people. And they think that that makes them a good person. When in fact, they are enabling people taking advantage of other people. Or making, you know, put, putting the, what do you want to call them, a perpetrator, putting their feelings above like a victim's feelings or whoever they're doing something to you understand so I think you're waking up to this it, it's like a real aha moment like okay I did I mean I, I always knew that you were like that but I didn't realize to that extent you know or waking up to how manipulative someone is and perhaps you were always like it's dismissing this is what's happened. You've always just kind of dismissed this. Oh, that's just how they are. Oh, what's the big deal? Oh, don't don't engage, right? Or, well, people can change. Well, yeah, that person was abusing their power and using people, but, you know, boys will be boys. You know, that kind of stuff. I don't know if you went that far with it, but it, it has that feeling where at one point you were so focused on what you were trying to do that you just kind of dismissed warning signs uh, all around you, which put you into disharmony. And then you couldn't understand why you were aggravated. You couldn't understand why you didn't feel good about yourself. You couldn't understand why things weren't flowing a little bit better in your life. Now they will because you were waking up to it, right? The discernment. I, I, again, if you guys are watching other signs for yourself, sun, moon, rising, Venus, whatever it is, you're going to see these cards popping out a lot. It's kind of crazy. Let's get you one more card though. As part of your story. And gentleness. This popped up, I believe, for Leo. I don't remember. But uh, it, it is really kind of, um, oh my gosh, it's there. Big epiphany. I need a break. <laughs> right? It is so that. It is like, I am not, it's not fighting. You're not fighting. As a matter of fact, some of what you understand about people and what you're realizing you know, like if you do wake up and you go, oh my gosh, I am dealing with narcissists. Uh, narcissists don't like it when you go no contact. So sometimes I was in a very bad situation with a covert narcissist. I had to slowly back out of that friendship. And even at that, she started to get aggravated. And then she really did start betraying until she did something that I couldn't forgive. She actually tried to take down, she was, she was getting in cahoots with somebody to 
ruin what I do here. <laughs> it was bizarre and just, oh, no, 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 no. So that's an extreme example. But what I'm saying here is that you're finally waking up to some dynamic. You're waking up to something that you realize, okay, yeah, you know what? This is not, I've been playing along with this. I didn't know it was this bad. Now, that's no excuse, right? Because what you're learning on a soul level um, as a human this time around <laughs> right or many times around who knows about your story your individual story but what you're realizing and waking up to and that's helping you shift is that I turn a blind eye to things too often I go along to get along not because I'm just you know such a peacekeeper necessarily because it's not that I have other things to do I allow myself to get pulled in other directions I allow myself to get distracted and so it is easy to kind of go eh this is like an annoying little fly over here uh Go away, I've got stuff to do, right? So that's part of a soul level lesson there to be more aware, be more awake and more, um, yeah, they're saying don't allow yourself to get so funneled. And I think what they're talking about there is like you having a one track mind, right? Where, and that's not a bad thing. I think a lot of us kind of get into something and we're just into it and then, you know, don't bother me. So you see what I'm saying? So you're, looking up and looking around and realizing what you've been missing and realizing the fallout from that doesn't mean you're going to get punished it just means like oh this whole time that one person was telling me this this and this was going on and I didn't care I just kind of kept going I thought they were just complaining it turns out it's a huge problem and that person was trying to tell me this entire time, right? So it's very much that, um, again, I, I don't, I'm not trying to inspire feelings of guilt or shame or anything, but it really, we're all going through these difficult um, self-checks so that we can have a better approach. And what this does too, again, it frees you up, right? Um, and it's going to expand your awareness, You'll have more enjoyment in your life. I don't know that any of this is so serious that you have to go like make amends with somebody. It's not that. It's it's more just like um, I need to pay more attention. Yeah, I need to pay more attention because I didn't know how serious this situation was. You feel me? All right, so we're going to leave it there for you guys. I'm sending you so much love and on to the next sign. Hi there, Pisces. Let's see what you have going on for this week. Wow. Okay, it's gratitude. I said gratitude. I mean, it came flying out. <laughs> so there you go. Um, this is where you're going to have to find the gratitude. I know. It does have this feeling around it where it's like, I know you as a soul, you showed up to teach me a lesson. And I really don't like the lesson that you brought me, but thank you. Thank you. You know, you're really going to have to find it. <laughs> right? So there is a great... Uh, sort of cracking open here and um, really having a deeper understanding of why situations have come up in your life or maybe how, why and how your life went into a certain direction that you weren't expecting You're seeing the beauty in it now yeah it's nice but there's still some people that you got a little Uh, what, what could we call it? resentment towards and you're working that out that's good you're working it out all right harmony this keeps coming up and i was just shuffling the deck it's what we all need to be working towards the harmony the peace and the gratitude card they're saying is really about taking a different perspective so instead of i don't know i guess this kind of goes down the road of reframing but you know instead of going oh my gosh that situation was so bad and it was just this and I do this I do this all the time I look back on things I'm like oh god I remember how that person did me wrong and how that person how it went down there and oh my god I get sick thinking about it but was it all bad no <laughs> no there were beautiful moments too and actually if you look at it there were probably more beautiful moments than there were bad moments all right so we have adventure I don't know why why what are you guys pulling me to You know, it's funny, this cathedral, or this thing that's supposed to be a cathedral, that reminds me of Barcelona. And then we have, like, Paris on here. And this one is adventure, and this one is harmony. 
So you know what it feels like? It feels like you're kind of unclogging your life, step one, <laughs> right? But it's more the emotional baggage. Yes, because these are travel, luggage, a stretch but whatever we're just doing the best we can here but <laughs> but this feels like um you know that kind of expansiveness that you get through travel and just seeing another culture and being forced in a situation where maybe you don't know the language I went to Barcelona it was interesting it was great I mean it was it was a lovely experience but it, it was hard and I tried so hard <laughs> I, tried, I tried guys but whatever, we don't need to talk about that. But anyway, this is broadening your horizons, broadening your perspective. Now, before you can get to that, though, you have to do this practice of letting go of what you perceive as slights towards you or pointing out other people's flaws when you've done 10 times worse yourself, right? Um, pointing your, your finger at this person for how they raise their kids but how do you raise your kids? You see what I'm saying? Because um, it very much has, <laughs> sorry guys, it has this um, feeling of being in other people's business and not looking at your own. Now, that's not bad across the board. There's so many people who are going to be watching this, so you all have a different story. But in some cases, it's like, I'm so worried about what's happening over there. And then, oops, the roof fell in in my house. Like, you know, <laughs> it could also go the way of, you know, you're so worried about taking other care, uh, taking care of other people that you're not taking care of yourself. Yes. Or they're saying, watch what's happening in your own backyard. You know what it feels like? And I pray this doesn't happen. Maybe you were somebody who you saw the floods in Tennessee, in New York, in Europe. You we're seeing everything that's happening in Afghanistan, you know, and, and maybe you're like, oh my gosh, how can I help? And that's beautiful. That's beautiful. But then the dam is breaking in your town and the water's coming for your backyard. So there is a message here. So it's going to vary for everybody. Some people need to stop being so self-centered. <laughs> right? But I think in, in, for most of you watching this video, it is, um, you know, have caution for yourself too. Okay. Care for others, but don't forget to care for you as well. Um, very much that and yeah you could take this quite literally if you feel like you can travel not everybody can around the world um but again that's taking it quite quite literally this this also feels like kind of falling in love with life again that adventure card it makes me feel like um can you find a way to find joy in everything that you do yeah and harmonizing harmonizing your life through finding joy in everything um and not forcing, not pushing, not blaming, not taking on the blame. You see this balancing? You see this going on? Um, I'm telling you, just, uh, I don't know how to tell this to you guys because literally I keep feeling, because water can represent emotions. Um, and if we really want to look at it this way, it could be that sort of sense of like the flooding would be suppressed emotions and, and then finally the dam breaks and here it comes so you can look at it that way that might be a message for some of you but I do feel like this is very much like that part is literal so wherever you are it doesn't have to be a flood it could just be you know you're you're a caring good person and you're caring about other things and yes that's wonderful to do but make sure you're paying attention to what is right there for you okay I hope that makes sense Let's see if there's anything else for you guys. I just heard centering around ground zero. Centering around ground zero. I don't know what that means for you guys specifically. Um, but they are showing me like sort of the outline of a person. Um, and these sort of light rings going out like this. And light piercing down the center uh, so this is probably a lot of you I don't know what this is because I'm seeing things because I'm hearing being called to duty but energetically so I and then I hear ground zero centering around ground zero so maybe some of you are sending some energy that way 
or trading yourself. Like, okay, I got, I got to, I got to fix my own stuff. I got to take care of my own junk before I'm looking at someone else. Okay. So I know it's a little confusing message, but that's what's coming up. We're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.